We're going to turn now to the weather and believe it or not, tonight there is snow on the ground in 49 of the 50 United States. And if you guessed Hawaii is the lone holdout, you're right. There is even snow in Florida's panhandle. And Steve Hosensami reports from a snowy Atlanta. Steve? Good evening, Diane. There are a number of cities across this region that haven't seen this kind of snow in decades, and they certainly don't have the equipment to handle it. Here in Atlanta, the city owns one snowplow and only eight salt trucks. It is going to be a busy night. Their pictures usually reserved for the north, but this isn't Boston. This mountain of snow that broke through this roof was outside Dallas, and this was Century Florida, which hasn't seen this much snow in more than a decade. The snow came down so hard it weighed down trees, which fell over power lines and sent sparks flying. Very dangerous situation. More than 300,000 people were left without power across the region, and that number could grow tonight. But you know that people are freaking out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are starting to, like, get scared and say, I got to go home and buy milk. Yeah, milk well, and bread. Yeah. Milk and bread. Toilet paper. The <laughs> I've never seen it this white before. And we're supposed to get more, and that's the crazy thing about it. The airlines were forced to cancel more than a thousand flights and had to break out the de-icing equipment. Snow is swirling across the entire southeast, from Texas to South Carolina. In Dallas and Fort Worth, they set a record, a whole foot of snow in 24 hours. Montgomery, Atlanta, and Columbia, South Carolina could see between three and six inches of snow before the night is done. This is a tremendous snowstorm. Two to three inches is a lot of snow for the South because we're just not prepared for that to happen. <laughs> for the children here, the snow is pure pleasure. School is out, fun is in. I didn't expect the snow to be coming today. I'm really glad because we usually don't get snow around here. It's a rare treat. Some of those children have never seen snow in their lives. Much of the snow could melt tomorrow, but Diane, more could be coming this way on Sunday. Snow covered hillsides and snowball fights are pretty rare in this part of Texas. In fact, big snowstorms here are so infrequent that traffic crews here don't even have snow plows. A historic winter wallop in part of the country known more for longhorns than snow drifts. Dallas is digging out and cleaning up after its biggest snowstorm in history. Look my life, I haven't seen it quite this bad. More than a foot of snow fell at local airports, canceling almost 700 flights over two days at DFW. I thought global warming was going to be a bigger deal than this. <laughs> the heavy, wet snow collapsed the roof of a Dallas tire company. And overnight, it snapped trees and strained power lines, creating eerie blue flashes and knocking out electricity to more than 200,000 customers. You need help? Yes. The storm also gave half a million children a rare snow day. Dallas does get snow occasionally, about two inches a year on average, but they've never seen anything like this. And the winter storm is still on the move, snow piling up across the southeast. Near Pike Road, Alabama, late today, the snowy conditions claimed the life of a child when a car slipped into an icy pond. Up to six inches in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where snowy roads caused dozens of accidents and the governor declared a state of emergency. In Atlanta, between two and three inches of snow caused 1,100 flight cancellations at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. Seven inches of snow fell in Shreveport, Louisiana, where crews built a fire snowman in front of a fire station. And in Dothan, Alabama, there was plenty of snow for tubing southern style. Well, the good news here is this snow is melting pretty rapidly. How unusual is this winter weather? Well, right now, 49 of 50 states, including Florida, have snow on the ground. The only holdout is Hawaii.